Hi there Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for this coming week. Okay, so we've got right opposite you, of course, Jupiter, been there for a while. Um, going to be there for another couple of months, but uh, Mercury, the communication planet, is going to move into this position. So this is all to do with relationships. It's going to be very good just to um, have a heart-to-heart -heart with somebody if you need to. If you're looking for love, then it's a time where you can get out and uh, just you know, be a good conversationalist and meet somebody who... Um, you know, you need somebody who has it all. I mean, of course, as Capricorns want it all, we want the spiritual connection, the intellectual connection, and the physical connection. And why should you not have it, okay? So, um, but this really is a great time to communicate and really uh, talk to somebody from the heart level, heart to heart. Now, do this over the next couple of weeks uh, because on the July or June the 7th, I'm sorry, Mercury will go retrograde, okay, and it's always for about three weeks, I think it's three weeks or three days, this time it's going to come out of that retrograde phase on July the 1st, so we've got a couple of weeks sort of um, window here, now uh, for most of the week before Mercury does make this transit, it's sitting in your solar sixth house. This is all very much to do with work and the service that you give. There's also a new moon indicating a new beginning. And of course, if there's a new moon, that means that the sun and the moon are both in the same location. So this is a great time for business as well, particularly through this week. Now, the other... Um, uh, transit that's happening this week is Venus is going to move, make a move as well and it's going to move to your solar fifth house. Very nice for your personal uh, side of your life. Very nice for love. Um, you can really, you know, with all that activity happening in your um, seventh house and now your fifth house, then if you're not, uh, if you're, you know, don't have in a relationship going, you're probably spending too much time at the office, Capricorn. Okay, so get away from the computer and get out there and start meeting some people. If you're in a relationship, then certainly this everything leads that that relationship can um, move to the next level or the next phase over this period of time, okay? Um, now, Venus, before Venus does make this move, it is going to be still in your home area. So it's a great time to really um, get in touch with family or it's a fabulous time also to do like a, uh, you know, work on your home. Make sure it's a, the beautiful place that you want to come home to every day. Um, now, Mars in your solar 10th house to do with business does have a... Uh, trine which is quite a lucky aspect at the end of the week the start of the weekend with the sun now the sun in sixth house of uh, work and mars in the on the tenth house of career and business um, and that new moon there so get ready to take on more work Capricorn if anyone can fit something else in their schedule it's you okay good luck to you and I hope it all comes through for all of us because as you know if you've been watching me for a while now I'm a Capricorn so good luck to all of us and look forward to seeing you next week and on my daily videos bye for now